Kenyan conservationists are counting Grievy's zebras to determine the population of the endangered animals. Grievy's are the largest of the zebra species, with thicker stripes and larger ears compared to other zebras. The census is being conducted by the Grievy's Zebra Trust, together with volunteers and various wildlife conservation groups. They'll use photographs and special software called the Image-Based Ecological Information System, or IBEIS, to identify individual animals using their unique stripe patterns. What IBC is, is a, it's a computational system that matches um, images from um, wildlife images for any wildlife that is striped, spotted, uh, or patterned in, a, in any other way, and it uses um, algorithms and uh, grid-based uh, image assessments to to identify whether uh, images are from the same animal, two images are from the same animal, or depict the same animal. And this is useful because it helps us then, within a whole population, identify all the individuals in that animal and give them unique individual IDs. So over time we can tell whether we have an increase or decrease in the number of individuals in that system based off of the images. Human encroachment on natural habitat as well as competition with other animals for grazing land and water continues to affect the zebra's survival. Kenya has reported a steady decline in zebra populations in recent years. In 1970s, 1980s, we are talking about 15,000 individuals out in the wild. But currently we are talking about 2,500 individuals out in the wild. Tourism is one of Kenya's biggest currency earners, bringing in over $800 million annually. And these researchers are also focusing on the giraffe population. Numbers have dropped by as much as 40% since the 1980s. We've been getting reports through anecdotal data and through surveys that the numbers of um, reticulated giraffes have dropped drastically in the last uh, few years. So the, the, the reticulated giraffe and the, and the grevy zebra are both um, northern Kenya species. And so it seemed only prudent to include them in this um, count also and get a snapshot of what those numbers are, at least form a baseline and know whether the drastically low numbers that we identified are actually true. Research shows that man-made threats led by the loss of natural habitat may herald the worst extinction crisis since the dinosaurs were wiped out 65 million years ago. Terry Wangari, CGTN.